Hey guys, Ken's Takes. Today we're going to be doing another solar system video. In this video, we're going to go over hypothetical planets. Hypothetical planets are planets in our solar system that are obviously hypothesized. Many of them have been failed to be found, or some are still thought to be existing. They are just still gathering enough evidence. Now, I'm still trying to figure out how many hypothetical planets there are, so I don't know if this is part one or just one whole video, so we're just going to go over the ones that I know. First is Vulcan. Vulcan is the closest hypothetical planet to the sun. This was hypothesized in the mid-1800s that this planet was between the sun and Mercury disrupting Mercury's orbit because its perihelion is too fast compared to Newton's laws. Kind of like how Neptune is affecting Uranus's orbit. We looked for decades, but turns out Vulcan doesn't exist. But Einstein soon figured out why Mercury's orbit was so eccentric. Next is Phaeton. This planet believed to exist between Mars and Jupiter. But after it got destroyed, it formed the asteroid belt. Next is Thea. Thea is a Mars-sized planet. 4.5 billion years ago, Thea collided with Earth, creating the moon. Today, it is located in the mantle under the Pacific Ocean and under Africa. Next is Planet V. Planet V existed between the asteroid belt and Mars. But at some point, it collided with Mars to create the Borealis Basin. Next is Nibiru. At first, this planet was thought to have a near collision with Earth. But it actually doesn't exist either, like Vulcan. Next is the Uranus Impactor. This Uranus Impactor is a super-Earth that is thought to be the reason why Uranus is on its side. Due to the collision impact of these two objects. Next is Fifth Giant. It's thought to be an ice giant, but 4.47 billion years ago, Jupiter and Saturn ejected it from the solar system. So it's possible that this planet actually exists, but if it does, it's a rogue planet, so it doesn't have a star. Next is sixth giant. This was probably ejected along with fifth giant, so if it did exist, it wouldn't be in our solar system, so it would be a rogue planet too. Next is Planet 10. This planet is thought to be slightly larger than Earth, and just like Planet 9, it is waiting to be confirmed. It might have a lot of moons that it's capturing from the Kuiper Cliff, which is the outer edge of the Kuiper Belt, as it lays in the Oort Cloud waiting to be discovered. Next is Tyche. Tyche was hypothesized in 1999 to be a gas giant four times more massive than Jupiter. It was thought to be in the Oort cloud, but NASA ruled out the existence of this planet. Next is Nemesis. Nemesis was thought to be a low-mass red dwarf or a high-mass brown dwarf, which is considered half star and half planet. While we have no proof of Nemesis, it was probably one of the sun's ejected companions. And finally, the famous Planet Nine. You, some of you might have heard the new dwarf planet discovery ruling out the existence of Planet Nine, but we still have hope. It's thought to exist because the goblin, or Lelea Kuanua, is being pulled by a much larger object. So that means Planet Nine could be somewhere near in the Oort cloud. It's thought to be an ice giant planet along with Uranus and Neptune, which are special gas giants. That could mean if it exists... It could be the fifth gas giant of the solar system. Thanks for watching this Kim's Takes episode. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe.